As I mentioned before, every brand and its hub has its own way to communicate with uh, the devices that it controls. For example, the SmartThings hub um, talks uh, Zigbee and Z-Wave, um, the Philips Hue controller talks Zigbee, and in this case the Instant controller talks its own communication protocol which um, uh, is uh, uh, composed of uh, radio frequency and also uh, it uses uh, the, the power lines uh, of uh, the devices that uh, are connected um, uh, to the power. So uh, it has its own way to communicate with um, uh, the devices which makes um, the way it communicates to them makes a very reliable network and also uh, the range there is no limitation in how many devices you can add into your instant network. So that's one of the um, big advantages of having uh, an instant um, uh, configuration in, uh, in your home. So this is how an instant wall switch looks like. Um, this one is a dimmer. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it. So this is how the instant switch looks like. It, uh, this kind of devices require a little bit more of work. Um, you have to uh, switch off your fuse, uh, uh, not the fuse, uh, sorry, the breaker that fits the light switch at the wall that you want to replace. And you have to do a little bit of wiring. So um, some of these switches require that you have three wires, your load, your power, and uh, the neutral. So um, you have to be uh, sure that you have these three connections in the wall switch that you want to uh, replace. Um, some may require some professional assistance installing them, but if you just are careful with um, turning off your breaker, you should be okay. And uh, basically they are color coded in the wall. So you just um, use a moret to uh, bind together um, the red, black and white. And then you can just uh, use some isolation tape. Shouldn't be a big deal and then you just uh, go through the process of adding it to your instant network. So this is how your switch looks once it's bound together with uh, your in-wall cable. So it's just a matter now to put everything back in the box. Remember the breaker has to be off uh, that fits this uh, light switch so that you don't get uh, sapped. So now we restored power to the switch. The switch is now uh, in the wall. Now we just have to cover it. Now the switch is covered and we are done. So we have talked already about uh, several different um, little uh, automation hubs for our homes. Um, we have talked about um, the um, Apple uh, Airport Express and we have talked about also the Samsung uh, SmartThings hub and uh, they are all necessary in um, our configuration for uh, having our uh, home devices connected and then later on controlled by Alexa. Um, now uh, it's time to talk about um, this other uh, um, little kind of hub that um, allows uh, different kind of interaction with our uh, uh, home systems. Um, Instion has its own um, solution for um, automating uh, light switches and devices around the house. Um, this is uh, how it looks. The new, it's also the newest uh, generation of the Instant Hub. It's uh, quite portable. It's uh, just a little square. Uh, on the back, uh, it requires uh, a wired connection to either a bridge, which I am using uh, my um, Apple Airport Express as a bridge, or you connect it directly to your uh, wireless router. The difference is, for example, that if you um, uh, connect a Philips Hue light, uh, you are controlling directly um, a light bulb. You are not controlling uh, the socket. With um, the Instant Hub, you have um, the possibility to um, uh, replace your light switch at the, in, on, in the wall, and um, that's how uh, you control your lights. So uh, uh, you do not uh, control the light bulb, you control the light switch itself. And then um, the reason why I have uh, all these hubs in my uh, configuration is because uh, they all interact with uh, the Amazon Echo. So uh, that gives you flexibility on which devices uh, you want to use. 
Yeah, I have uh, talked before that uh, most of the times it helps to stick it to one kind, but um, in these uh, kind of uh, situations, you um, have to mix uh, the best way that you think. So uh, in this case, I have decided to, uh, if I want uh, to have a light where I want to change a color and I want uh, to uh, control the light bulb itself, I, I use my Hue light system from Philips and um, I, uh, I have come uh, to um, think that Instion is a very uh, good solution too. So if I require another kind of uh, installation like an in-wall switch or an, uh, an outlet or um, a sensor or a door lock or whatever it is, uh, Instion offers a wide variety of devices uh, that uh, work well and uh, most of them can be controlled uh, with Alexa. In this case, I have a couple of light switches here, um, in-wall switches to control uh, in my um, kitchen. Right there and uh, right there. And um, I have them set up so I can turn on the lights in my kitchen uh, with uh, my Amazon Echo. Uh, Echo? Echo? Turn on kitchen main. So now we turn on my kitchen. Echo, turn on dining table. Okay. So now we turn my dining table. Echo, turn off dining table. Okay. Echo, turn off my kitchen main. Okay. So that's how. Uh, the light switches work, it works great uh, with uh, uh, the Instion Hub. And uh, now we're going to take a quick look at the, the Instion app to see how it looks. Seen how the Instion Hub is connected and uh, how the devices look and how they work in, um, uh, in the house. We're going to take a quick look at the, the app and um, the different features that uh, you can do with it. Um, here, so this is the main uh, screen when you open the app, uh, which shows your favorites. So right now I just have uh, two switches in my kitchen, uh, in-wall switches. So those are the only devices that uh, it's showing here. If you select them, it um, shows the interface of the switch, so that you can turn it on and off um, from your phone. Um, here on the settings. You have all the different options that you have. Um, you have the option to add a thermostat. Which, um, you can uh, add uh, either uh, an Instion brand thermostat or um, you can add different kinds. You can even add the uh, Nest thermostat to control it with uh, the Instion app. I didn't like the interface a lot, um, so I, I wouldn't use it. and. Uh, I don't see any value on adding the thermostat when you have uh, the Nest native app and also if you're controlling it with your Amazon Echo I don't see the value to have it here uh, really. Uh, you have this option rooms which um, you can it's like your areas where you can group your different devices that you have um, so right now I just have uh, one room which I call house um, and then you can add there uh, the different devices that you uh, uh, that you feel like having in one area so um, right now I don't have a lot to put in there so uh, that's uh, that's how it looks here again you go uh, to your devices and um, you also have a scenes option so um, you can build uh, custom actions with uh, different devices um, also you have uh, your favorites you can tag in which are your favorite devices so that they show up uh, on your main screen and um, here you have your options of uh, adding a device um, so you add a device and it asks you what kind of device you're adding if it's a plug-in module a thermostat this is the great uh, variety of uh, devices that uh, you can find from uh, Instion and also from a third party that Instion supports. Here's where you can um, um, install uh, all, select and install all these things. 
Um, so uh, you can, as you can see, you have a great uh, variety of uh, options. Um, then here it tells you how to configure the new device that you're setting up. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. You uh, press the little button that comes on the switch, and then um, when it recognizes it, um, you simply tap the next button, and um, it takes you through the installation process. And um, it's really straightforward. It identifies a new device. It adds it to uh, uh, your devices, and then uh, pretty much you can uh, just uh, uh, keep adding until you 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 are done. And um, here you have uh, your scenes, like I said, on settings. Also, um, you have schedules, so you can um, schedule your um, different switches to uh, act on their uh, on their own. So this is a nice feature. I, I like it. I uh, see myself using this for my patio and my uh, front um, outdoor light. So this is a nice feature to have. I like it. So basically this is how the Instant app looks like and um, it's pretty straightforward. And this way you can keep adding your uh, devices as you go. Now the way it works with your Amazon Echo is uh, you go to your Alexa app. Uh, once you have your devices added on your Instant app, um, mainly light switches, I think uh, right now Instant only support light switches uh, to uh, work with uh, uh, Alexa. So um, it's um, kind of uh, not so many but um, it's uh, it's still a good range so it's it's still good to have um, the way you do it is you go to your Alexa app and um, you go to connected home section and then uh, you select uh, link with instant hub and then it will ask you for your uh, credentials for your uh, instant account it will link your uh, instant account and then uh, like that um, all you have to do afterwards after it's linked uh, you just need to um, uh, tell your Amazon Echo to discover your devices and um, it will uh, find all the devices that you have set up on your um, instant app and uh, in that way you can start uh, using your devices uh, through your Amazon Echo just as uh, any others that you may have uh, from other systems so this is um, in a nutshell, this was uh, the Instant app for uh, the Instant Hub working with uh, the Amazon Echo.